Moving on, thinning hair can have a major psychological impact on anyone, no matter what age you are. But this evening, we're chatting to a young woman who hasn't let hair loss get in her way of having a good time. Meet Donna Fitzpatrick from Dublin. As a healthy 29-year-old, Donna didn't expect to suffer from thinning hair in her 20s. Donna, when did you first start to notice that your hair was thinning? Uh, it's about three years ago. Three years ago now, I just start uh, you know, when you're calm and it getting gaps and everything. But past year, year and a half, it's totally getting worse. But there's nothing they can do. Donna soon realised that her thinning hair wasn't a phase. In fact, when you could see the top of my scalp, you could totally see everything that was not a bit of hair there anymore. People looking at you, people wondering, did I, was I sick? Which I'm not, you know, it's just thinning hair and there's a lot of girls out there that have it and don't realise it's only thinning hair and there is help for them, like, they should yeah. go and seek it because there is grey wigs, hair pieces, everything. So, health-wise, you were perfect. It wasn't like there was any changes in your diet, there wasn't trauma. No, nothing. I'm brilliant. <laughs> not a bit of sickness in me. Nothing. And how does, when you went to the doctor, did you think maybe it had alopecia? I thought that's what it was at first. I thought it was alopecia. I actually thought it was worse. Because when you're getting out of the shower or you wake up and you just see your hair on the pillow and... Like, like I got an awful fright at one stage. What was it like when you finally decided, right, this is, it's not getting better, I'm gonna have to do something, uh, you know, I want to change now. When did you kind of make that decision in your head? When I heard about hairspray. So the first time I came over, I met the lawyers, got me full hair piece, I, I cried. I couldn't believe the confidence that they gave me back. It was unbelievable, it changed my life. So did you start to feel like your old self again, like straight away? Yeah, I was gone, I was out. <laughs> I was there, you couldn't get me in. <laughs> I was just out partying and being a normal girl, you know. According to Dolores McKenzie from Hairspray, thinning hair is a condition suffered by half of their customers. 50% of our clients have thinning hair and they vary in ages from 16 to 60. It's a wonderful thing for these girls, for girls to be able to come in and just get a piece and, yeah. you know, they can have short hair, long hair, they have options of wigs. And at Hairspray, women can try on hair pieces in their private consultation rooms. Every girl that has come to me has gone down the road of trying all the shampoos and thickening hair. They spend a fortune on it. They come in, they get their hair and it takes the stress away immediately. And sometimes, you know, there's an improvement on the hair because the stress is gone. Real hair wigs start at €650, Euro, but for Donna, her piece has become an integral part of her daily life. Now, day to day, do you wear the wigs permanently? Oh yeah, wear it everywhere. Everywhere. And in terms of, like, are you aware you're wearing anything? Do you ever feel any itchiness or anything like that? To be honest, at first, I was paranoid. Of course you would be, you know, but no, you can't feel it. You can't notice it. No, none of my friends even noticed. Oh. Unless my close friends who knew what I was doing, but other people that I've met along the years, just don't know. Donna is celebrating her big 3-0 soon and she can play around with several looks for her party. Do you know what look you're going to go for? No, not yet. We'll figure that one out. <laughs> something glamorous. Oh, yeah. Something spectacular. For more information, head to hairspray.ie.